Hi, it's Minecraft here. Welcome to another Minecraft Monster Story. Today, I'm going to teach you how to add events to the game. Now, you might just see here, I've got a couple of extra stuff that you won't have. This is because I'm currently working on a couple of things for people and also working on some tutorials. And you might be wondering, where is RF Generator Part 3? Well, I haven't made that yet because I'm still working on some stuff and trying to fix some stuff. At the moment, it's not working out too good but I'm gonna crack down and try and get it done so yeah so today I'm going to be going over the basis of events so you're probably asking what is an event event is basically when so you can test when something's happened so right here we've got events right here these are FML pre-initialization events initialization events and these just so we can like alter stuff. So in the description of this video, uh, there's gonna be a link to my website with this really, really long list of events. So here is every single event in the game so far. I'm not gonna read them out to you. You can have a look at this. You can pretty much tell. I have put some comments on some of these. Um, also said where they are. Now, the way it works is there's actually four different buses, and it's called a bus because just the way it works, um, you actually have an event bus which you register your event to, and that's just the way it works. So, yeah. Um, so, all of these events going down from here until you see another one of these. These are all the ones on the event bus, so you got a ton of client ones, miscellaneous, brewing, entity, item, entity living, player events, minecart block, world, chunk events, fluid events, all registry, um, populate chunks, which is fired on the event bus. And then you've got this FML common handler. Now, the way that Forge works, the way that it works, sorry if you can hear my door, the way that this works is that um, you, you see this event handler. This is for FML. So FML is like the actual things for the mods. But I think they might have updated some of the stuff. Um, but that this is just how you register all the FML events. Which is like input events when you type stuff. Key in, No, that's key input. And these, these are all of these event players, uh, when you craft something, you pick up something, all of that lot. Uh, you can configure GUIs, which, you know, might be cool. Uh, tick events, uh, networking. And now you got all your terrain stuff here. And then you've got the origin stuff. Now, I'm just going to show you how to make a basic, like, event handler thingy. And this is actually done in the common proxy. So I'm going to just add another method. So public void register events. And the event that I'm actually going to be doing today is I'm going to make it so that in your inventory, like say you got an item in your inventory, it'll give you a potion effect. So Swan so actually requested this. So here you go, dude. Um, so the event that I am going for is an entity living living update event. So this is actually called on the event bus here. Now the way events work, I'm just going to make a new package for events. So dot events and boom, and it's going to add a new class, and I'm just going to say. Um, I don't know what to do. I think, say, when you got a sword, the copper sword in your hand, it'll give you strength. Uh, strength when holding copper sword event. There you go. That's just what I'm going to call it. And the way this works is it's a public uh, void on event. You can call this what you want and then it's uh, update and it's actually what what is it called um, where is it 
Living update event. Okay, sorry. Living up. If I could spell it right. Living. Oh my gosh. Living update event. Event. And because it's a forge one, so it's on this Minecraft forge one, you have to put at subscribe event. If it's an FML event, you have to put at uh, event handler. So at subscribe event and open it up. So in here, we want to just set the priority. So priority is equal to event priority dot. And I'm just going to say normal, a non priority, and then you got to receive cancelled and just set this to true. And that should do all that. This is actually pretty much our event done. But we want to make it when the player is holding it, so, or any entity. So we're going to check if, actually, let's just get the entity living. Let's get the entity. And that's equal to event dot entity. So it's the entity that's actually doing this event. So every entity. And and I'm just going to change it to the entity living. And I'm actually going to change it to entity living base. And like so. So here, that will just do it for all entities. I want to check where it's got it in the inventory. So, first thing that we got to do is check whether the entity is in fact a player. So, entity instance of entity player. Control Shift O. So, if it is a player, then I'm just going to set entity equal to, and then we're going to cast this to entity player entity. There you go. And now we can just check. If entity dot inventory has item, I'm going to check if they have this sword. So mod items dot copper underscore sword. So if they have a sword, then I'm just going to copy this. They're going to have potion effect, except for it's just going to be level zero. And we actually now need to register this. So, um, this one is a living update one, which is called on the uh, Minecraft Ford event. This is called on Minecraft Ford event bus. So that's Minecraft Forge dot event bus dot register. And it's a new strength when holding item copper sword. And that will register that. And now we actually have to put this in that initialization. So I'm just going to call proxy dot register events. So what I am in fact going to do, I'm actually going to just move this down here and just set do it here. And instead of doing this, I'm just going to have a Entity player entity and this is going to be event dot entity and this is going to be event dot entity here and there we go. Okay, so the game's loaded up, so let's go into the test world. How far will we get? Seeing as I got rid of that other piece of code. How far do we get? This is intense stuff. Okay, step on. We can, in fact, move around our inventory. Okay, this is so tense. Copper sword. Boom. Strength free. Here we go. But if we don't have it, we lose it.
that is awesome. So, what I think I'll probably do is let's just try it out on a ghost spawn time set night. Uh, let's just go get some fences. Crap, I just realised. They teleport. Crap. So I need a one shot kill for the strength three. Die! So yeah, that is, that is epic stuff. I mean like, it doesn't really look like you got anything. Pretty damn epic. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want more of these events, just let me know in the comments. Have a look through that event list that is in the description. And I'll hopefully do... Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So, yeah, go check them out.